Hey, what's up, my beautiful people? Today is September 8th, and here is your daily energy report. We are on the eve of the Mars retrograde. What a transformative time it's going to be. Now, later today, um, I, well, first I have an announcement real quick. For, uh, now, new time on Tuesdays for my live will be 4 p.m. Pacific. Um, 7 10 p.m. Eastern. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm I'm making a few changes in my schedule. So 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern. I I'm hoping that that's going to be a little bit um, more uh, attainable for my viewers out there in the other parts of the world. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Also, and I'm gonna when I when I go live, I'm gonna be going a little bit more into this Mars retrograde because this is gonna be big. This is going to be uh, the biggest, th this next three months is going to be the biggest, most intense energy we've ever felt in all of our lives. Like, no comparison, okay? So let's all get prepared. Let's all get buckled in, all right? Let's get ready because this does not have to be a bad thing. This can be a very good thing, right? We have to be ready. We have to know what to look for. And if you've been doing the work, I mean, of course, if you're watching if you're watching my shit and other things like this, then you've been doing the work. All right. So with Mars going retrograde, there are very, there are many very unique aspects coming down. So this is like the Eve. This is like getting ready to step into this next place. Everyone everywhere has something going on in their life. There's, there's, there's massive, massive change and transformation going on, but this is going to be very internal. Okay, this is the divine masculine. Okay, now remember, we live in a patriarchal society, my friends, okay? This is the divine masculine going through a power wash. This is where that voice in our head, we all have many voices in our heads. In fact, that's why I love astrology. Astrology, you know, depicts each planet is a personality, right? An archetype. And each archetype has a shadow side and a light side. That's why I love astrology. It just, it makes so much sense, right? So going with astrology and understanding what's about to happen, all right, or what we're already really in, or we're about to step into, um, you know, etherically, this is where these voices are going to start to get very loud. They're going to start to change. They're going to start to change because our spirit is really speaking to us big time. We are leading up to a culmination point in humanity in just a few months. So whatever decisions that you have to make, whatever decisions that you've been making, whatever directions that you've been planning on, you know, in life, whatever things happened in the past, whatever vision you've had for the future, all right? Just wipe all that away now. Right now, the, this voice in your mind is going to be getting much stronger and much louder. Intuition is going to be kicking up like nothing you have ever felt before. Now, this intuition, if you are not familiar with it, may sound very, may feel very weird, may sound very strange, may be like, what the hell is going on? This is where you really have to just start focusing your intention, your energy on going towards what feels right. And let me tell you, what feels right is going to feel like, oh my God, I have to go towards this. What feels wrong is, oh my God, I got to get the fuck away from this. It, there is going to be no in between. Any kind of narcissism is going to be coming up to the surface to be purged out. So we are going to be seeing a lot of, because let, let's, let's face it, all right, let's call spade a spade. Narcissism is a bitch, and it's a bitch that's fucking crazy powerful in the world right now. That is what what we're seeing in all the leaders, in all the in all the in all the shit that's going on in the world. It's crazy, right? That all is about to shift. Everything's about to change. Everything. This is leading up to an apex for December twenty first. Okay, December 21st is the big day. It's the very, very big day. That's where we're going. And uh, 
tune into my live later today, Tuesday, uh, September 8th, at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern. And we're going to get down and talk about it. But those of you who have been doing the work, who have been getting into it, um, the art of surrender is going to become your greatest ally right now. Those of you that have not been doing the work or if you have people or loved ones that have not been doing the work, um, it's going to be a weird, weird, weird time for you. So today is again, it's, it's the preamble. It's, it's, it's the, the one step before we go for the race. Now, what is the race? The race is going to be facing and looking at all of our divine masculine traits. Now, look, when I say divine masculine, everyone has divine masculine, divine feminine, some more than others. Some women are more masculine than men. Some men are more masculine than women. It doesn't matter. Divine masculine is about how you go out in the world, how you penetrate, right? How you structure, how you create, how you take action, how you live your life, how, how, how you go out in the world. Whereas the feminine is about how you receive, how you nurture, how you accept, how you allow. It's more moldable, right? It's the, it's, the, it's the feminine nature. It's more moldable. It's open. It's emotional. So as we are all going through this purification process of the divine feminine, I mean, divine masculine, uh, be ready to have this voice in, like uh, in your head. I know in the last few, in the last few days, and mind you, bear in mind for, for me, my astrology, my chart ruler is Mars. I'm an Aries rising and my sun sign is Capricorn. So my, my, you know, ruler of my astrology is Saturn and these motherfuckers are going to be squared off for the next month. And I can literally like hear the archetypes in my mind. It's like, you know, some people, you know, some people speak to their guides call them their guide. Some people say they speak to Jesus. Some people say they speak to source, God, you know, archangels, whatever you want to call them. I like to think uh, that, you know, I connect with the energies of the planets. That's what I feel. And the planets are a part of me. That's why I do astrology. So I can feel like the energy of Mars and the energy of Saturn. And it's almost like these two drill sergeants in there, but they're both even though their intention, <laughs> their intention, their intention is intention. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> this is, uh, they're, they're like, okay, it's time to man the fuck up. And I say man the fuck up because it's divine masculine. It's time to take the divine masculine and grow and take this manliness from a heart space, and grow it. It is time to stand in our divine masculine power. In order to get there, we must purge out what is no longer serving. This is for men and women, every person on the face of this earth. So it probably is going to look really shitty and really fucked up on the outside before it gets better, before it looks better. Okay. Be ready, be prepared, but take care of yourself. This is where self-care, self-nurturing in a masculine way. How do you do that? Discipline, structure, taking care of yourself, making shit happen, making shit happen in a healthy way. Nutrition, diet, exercise, right? Like getting out there in the world, making the world a better place in the best way you can, okay? So this is where the structure is going to become very important. This is where going into like, you know, instead of, you know, wallowing in emotions or like, you know, any like lethargy or like poor me or any of this shit, it's like, no, nope, get up, let's go. You have, you have to, you have to. Self-care is imperative right now. Take care of yourself. It takes work, it takes dedication. If you would like to, uh, to join a community that does that, well, join the opportunity community because that's what I created for.
all right? So today is that day. It's like we're getting ready. It's almost like we're getting ready to get shipped off to, shipped off to spiritual boot camp. This Mars retrograde is going to be nuts. I'm telling you. So get ready. And it's not necessarily means that anything's going to slow down. Things are going to speed up. Speed up in a very different way than, and, and you know, um, if you're intuitive, you know, well, you're watching this if you're intuitive. You can feel it. It's a weird feeling, but I, <laughs> maybe it's because my chart ruler and my, and, and, and my, uh, you know, sun ruler both are going on, you know, are sort of the master planners right now. I'm just super tuned into it. I can feel it. So it's time to get disciplined. It's time to get in there. It's time to be the best, most responsible version of yourself. But I'll tell you what, we're going to need to be that way. December 21st, big, big, big day. And yes, I'm gonna make a video about it, okay? So be prepared today, just tune in, listen, get ready, make it happen, all right? And have a great day. Just stay focused on you, stay focused on, your, on taking the best care of this physical vessel you can because it's all you got. It's all you got. Okay. I love you all very much. Have a fabulous day. If you, uh, astrology course, astrology course level two is in the process of being put up on my website. That should be up by the end of the day. I will also make another video, um, coming out explaining about all that. And uh, I'm going to be having a special flash deal, 20% off, uh, for level one and two. Okay. It's an amazing course. I'm really excited to bring it to you guys. So, uh, be ready for that. Uh, should be out today. Okay. I thank you all very much. If you'd like a reading from me, please go to spiritualbodybuilder.com and I'll see you on the live. Other than that, mwah, have a great day, guys. Namaste.